The Canada Fund has contributed uh, nearly $200,000 to robotics programs. In 2018, uh, Rio Tinto began their partnership with Zone One Robotics and started to uh, enhance the accessibility to robotics programs. We had this um, conversation with uh, Rio Tinto about uh, bringing STEM to uh, students, to young students. Um, in Kitimat. We were approached by Zone One, uh, working in partnership with Rio Tinto, and they basically explained this was this opportunity for training. I was completely new to it, so I was learning alongside, my, my wife's a teacher and she's also doing the same program, and so we were both learning at home, building kits at night, and trying to stay one step ahead of, of the students with the learning curve. Well, if it wasn't for Rio Tinto, we could not have afforded it as a school. Um, that startup, that initial, those initial robot kits and the registration. It's amazing what can happen when you just give students the opportunity to try something different, try something new, and I decided robotics was definitely something that appeals to almost every student. I most enjoy working together as a group because it's really fun to be with other people while doing robotics. My favorite part is probably working as a team uh, and the design of the robots. It's kind of difficult. Usually there are a lot of bugs in your code that you have to fix. We did a circle and I had to sit down on the ground and the robot had to drive around to me um, and it kept running into me. One of the things I like most about robotics is how we are able to work together with other people to solve problems in creative ways that you would have never thought before to use innovation and uh, STEM skills like maths. Um, us all coming together to build one robot and cooperating together to control the robot and just s solve the challenges together to make the robot and uh, doing the uh, challenge that is provided for that certain year. It's not all about coding. You design, you create, you see if you have problems, you overcome them. And seeing what you do being put into action is probably one of the best things about robotics. It's what I think robotics really is, being proud of what you've done. With robotics, um, I'm able to kind of combine everything in and I actually bring in robotics into my science class, into my math class as well. Um, I mean, our future careers of what our students are going to be doing, and we don't even know what those careers are yet because it's ever-changing, um, it's heavy into STEM. I think it's easy as a teacher to forget the importance of, of the hands-on STEM exercises. I get caught up in doing regular routine board science lessons, and as soon as we bring out the kits and kids get hands-on involved, you sort of see the difference in engagement. Some kids that are a bit more reluctant are suddenly down, they're building. Um, you see the cooperation level that you don't necessarily get with regular science and math lessons. So I think it adds a real uh, bright palette of color to, to learning science and math. It's just more dynamic opportunities to be involved. And then I think the learning just naturally evolves from that.